Here's some Peterson here. Seems good magic. This is uh, round four of the daily. Uh, I'm playing clap 22. I have a moderately good hand, except I have no black. Um, I got three land for a live healer and then Thrag Tusk. Um, three out of seven is usually a keepable hand, except I have no black. It's only one card, I just have to draw into the black, so I'm probably not going to mulligan this. But before I make that decision, let's scout our opponent. So he won a premier event uh, at the beginning of May, playing Gruul mid-range, which is a deck, Fire Sage, Burning Tree, Flood Tough, Increasing Savagery. Um, so my hand is not bad against this. I think I'm going to keep it. Um, it is a little slow. If I hit black, we're fine. So I'm not going to mulligan. him. See if he goes down to five. He's on the play. So he gets. This is not real mid range. Um, this could potentially be reanimated. This could be jumped. Um, our hand got increasingly better right now um, with the pilgrim. Could be junk aristocrats. Looks like we are, let's see here. We're playing a reanimator mirror and he whiffed on his mulch. So that is good news for me, bad news for him. Because I am quickly accelerating into a good hand. Um, I'm just going to drop this, that way I can salvage. No reason for me to get aggressive. I want to accelerate my graveyard. He is main decking death right, so that is concerning. So what do we got? Mm, you get two there. That's pretty good. Nothing in the graveyard yet of importance, so he's gonna play the tune. He sets me up for this. Well, wow, it's really good salvage. Um, to get all those things off the top of my deck is really good. So I'm taking Sun Petal. Um, Drew a Vault. So I've got a live Angel turn six, which is good. Because basically I'm doing stuff the next two turns here. He's telegraphing Restoration Angel with his cavern. He's going to take out my pilgrim. Interesting. It's an interesting play. I don't think that's necessarily wrong. But I mean trying to slow me down, keep me off of slime I'm assuming. So at this point I just drop elf. Next turn we've got a live thrag test. He 
He's shocking. He's probably got his own Thrag Tusk here. So he is he is sliming me, which is interesting. So I'm going to get my Thrag Tusk out. guess is if he had the Umberorites, he would have already gone for a Thrag Tusk, since he's this far behind. So he's one land off Angel. I'd be very surprised if he had an old one on Thurs of Pokemon, though. Does have flashback sever? Which possibly might be what he's doing, we'll see. So he's flashing back several, probably hit that, which is good, because he just wasted it, and I rest those in. So, pending Angel of Serenity, I'm in pretty good shape this game. Overground tomb. So let's malt. See if we put an Omega Rites in the yard. We did. Um, we also hit two lands, so that's good. Um, so at this point, we're going to beat him like this. So now I'm going to grab my Restoration Angel. Case scenario that he does hard cast an angel serenity. 
I just angel serenity my own stuff, so. We'll see here. I'm at six. What do we got? So he's going to write some drag test, which is probably the correct play. So I attack for four. I know he does that. Um, takes nine. I get my own beast. And then we drop land. Um, tap. Oh, I dropped the wrong land. Huh. Whoopsie. It's a misplay, a slight misplay, but not the end of the world. Flashes back on burial rights. Yeah, get a spell test. A shock, and then we go. Force him to have a restoration. Either. If he doesn't, I probably will. Round one. Um, now we're going in round two. So the animator near uh, big cards right here. Severs really good. Um, Sin collector really good. Um, he was on the slime plan pretty heavily. Uh, on the draw, the slime plan is not as good. Um, just because you're not as aggressive. Probably go like that. Keep two slimes in, which is relevant. Uh, Primordial's big. Um, if I happen to go to game three, I probably go heavy into the slime plan and cut like a sim collector, um, possibly one sever. But hopefully, we won't have to do that. Again, great hand. Uh, I got mulch, I got grizzly salvage, I got acidic slime. So we are not going to mulligan in this. You hear that beeping? That's my dinner. to go on my pizza. He is obviously thinking pretty hard about Weller to Mulligan. Basically my line of play 
is going to be Temple Garden tapped. Um, if I don't draw a Buddy Land, then I'll probably go Cavern of Souls, naming Angel, Mulch. Um, so he did Mulligan. I'm not going to Mulligan. So he is going to Mana Accelerate here quicker than I am. Which if he plays it to do the next turn. We're still gonna go Temple Garden Tapped. Operate as is. So what do we got? Sim Collector maybe? Main Step Salvage. Interesting. What's he take here? Restoration Angel in hand. It's interesting that he made step salvage and shot himself to do that and then didn't take land. It makes me very curious. So we're going to name Angel. And then we'll launch. Wow, we mulched away some good stuff. So my guess is he's probably got a slime in hand. Put him on slime and angel at this point. <coughs> Possibly thread cuss. Flash and Resto at the end of his turn. It's interesting that this is going on that aggressive route. So he's playing a very aggressive game, which is interesting. My take on the deck is not particularly aggressive, even in the mirror. That's what he has in his hand. He can see things from before. Win that way. Ah, Vault's pretty good. So he's going to try to gain a bunch of life. But life in this matchup, I found, is not super relevant. Okay, so we're not gaining life. We're also not going to slime. So. What are we doing here? Program. Black, green. Um, I'll probably take the land and just on right, on bear rights my trade tusk. That way we're on a slime plan. I get the most out of the bear rights. Shut down blockers. You can also hit the Sin Collector, which could be relevant. Um, I think I still go Thrag Tusk. He's got two in hand. Probably has an Umberto Rights. There's nothing in the yard. This is a tough choice. So I can go Sin Collector. Or I can go Thrag to stop the bleeding. Acidic Slime, Blink Acidic Slime. Uh, I think that's probably the play. Particularly if he's sitting on a hard cast Angel of Serenity. So we're gonna we're gonna go with that one. Maybe the wrong line, but for his aggressive strategy, I think that's the correct play.
interesting. You did choose to sever. So. Which is okay. So he's still on the aggressive kill me in the air plan. Missing land drops. Oh, he did hit a land drop there. This is good for me, bad for him. Um, first things first. We're going to attack in with my beast token. And then we are going to slime. And we're going to slime the black source. Um, it shuts off vault. It also shuts off... Well, it doesn't quite shut up Hardcast Angel, because he has the Pilgrim. Ooh, oh. that's a little scary. That explains the... Um, plan to get aggressive. So he does have Prayer Hoof if he wants it. That's why he decided to get aggressive, because he's on the Hoof plan. Not good. I'm probably dead this next turn to Crater Hoof. Mulch really helped him a bit, good bit. Enough on barrel rights, and that's pretty much a snap, snap, snap plan for him. I don't know if I can recover from this. Like 14. Oh wow. sure why he didn't do hoof. It would have been plus four plus four on all of this stuff. Because he's just allowing me to buy another turn. This is very silly. I mean, I talked about can just a remedy. I don't think he can come back. Interesting, so he's sliding two more creatures out, which is, seems legitimate.
So again, he is choosing not to hook. This is curious to me, why he's not hooking. Because I'm just getting... More dudes out. Tuning in the slime and stuff. just doesn't realize he has it in the graveyard, which is amazing that he's got unbearer rights and hoof, and he hasn't done it yet. Plus four, plus four, and trample. Those become five fives. This becomes eight, seven, seven, eight. This becomes a six, six, and that's a nine, nine. I don't see how I live from that. He has the mana to cast it. not as dumb as you appear to be. into some very awkward situations here now. So I block here. Take eight. Take fourteen. Um Angel. So that puts me at 11, plus 2 is 13, I need to prevent the rest of the damage. And I can't.
I don't understand why you didn't do that sooner. Okay, here we go, game three. Um, now it's it's probably appropriate actually to come back to the slime plan since I'm on the play. Um, we can probably take out one sin collector, um, probably one sever, because we're gonna go on the acidic slime plan. slime we have no mana acceleration so we just hope to draw into it I like the hand though right these two oh, he mulliganed again this daily has been a tale of mulligans I've mulliganed mulligan quite a bit Opponents of Mulligan quite a bit as well. He's in the tank on this one. So he will keep. I'm hoping to draw into Mana Dorks at this point. Mana Dorks, um, Grizzly Salvage would be okay too. Wow, so he's starting off with a cavern um, to get out of Addison's Pilgrim. That's uh, not ideal. So. Like I said, drawing into Mana Dorks is the best possible thing for me. Because that just puts this on a faster clock. Double Pilgrim, no land. Oh, we do have a land. Okay, so he bluffed us a little bit there. But he has no green. That's his problem. So I keep him off green with a slime. It's pretty good. Like I said, this is a pretty good game plan in the mirror match when you're on the play. So he's going to swing in and get a little aggressive. Oh, maybe not. I knew I had Resto. I probably wouldn't have flashed it in just because it's so powerful to be able to blink. Because and see now I'm actually two lands away from Serenity. My guess is probably has a mulch. 
Yep, shock. That's interesting. Not a bad play. Um, certainly takes it on my yard. He has to hit another green to slime, so basically he has to draw on the lane, and he did. So, not bad there. So at this point he's digging for land. Arbor Elf, interesting. Arbor Elf. Huh. That's fascinating. I would not have put Arbor Elf in the game. Played slightly. By not flashing into the lair. So at this point, I'm going to take both of his angels out of his yard. One of his buildings. That way, if he does sever mine, he's got to be able to hard cast it. can't cheat them into play. So I misplayed. I could have had him at 14 here. Does he have another sever? He's one away from being able to flash it back. Then he doesn't have enough white to cast it, to hard cast these angels. Could be a critical misplay. Um, the fact that I didn't flash there because I had him at eight, he'd be dead next turn. So critical misplay, that would have been a win had I played the angel, restoration angel correctly. Still, he's got to resolve a thrag tusk and that still doesn't even save him. So I think I just cashed money here.
Really thinking hard. So, he's cussing at me? <laughs> yeah. It's interesting, I had a small argument with a guy in another daily, and the next time I logged on, he said he was reporting me, which I thought was curious. But, apparently that stuff is, this type of stuff is frowned upon, comments like he made up here. We'll see. Three one. Can't complain about that. Um, so basically, how I how I run my Moto account. If I do three one in a daily, at this point I don't have any tickets in my account, so I'll be selling all the packs for tickets. Um, typically, I like to keep about twenty four tickets in my account, which accounts for four dailies. So that means I have to go one in four dailies. I need to cash in order to um, keep playing infinite. I've been playing on the same $10 here for about a month. Um, while also increasing my collection a little bit, picking up uh, smaller items um, for my modern decks and my standard decks. So I'll be selling these tickets. Um, thanks for watching. Um, this is the first time I've streamed for Alex. So I'll probably do some more in the future.